What's up, YouTube fam? Hey, today we're gonna be talking about tomatoes. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks so you can grow the very best tomato plants ever. Let's go. <sighs> What's up YouTube fam? So today's video is all about tomatoes. If you've ever tried growing tomatoes before in the past and have failed miserably, have no fear because in this video, I'm gonna talk about five tips and tricks that you can do to ensure 100% success in growing tomatoes. Before we get started though, if it's your first time visiting the channel, I wanna thank you don't forget to click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Let's go. Okay guys, so before we get into it, watch the video in its entirety because at the end, I'm gonna give you a top secret tip of growing tomatoes that not a lot of people know about. Okay, tip number one. Okay guys, so first I wanna talk about choosing the right tomato plant for you. Now, you may not have known this, but there are actually two different types of tomato plants. If you're not careful, you may choose the wrong one. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This tomato plant right here, this is a celebrity tomato plant. Now I'm not too concerned about the variety or strand of tomato, but really what I'm concerned about is the type. So if you look on the card that comes with your tomato, this is just a Bonnie um, tomato plant that I picked up at Lowe's. And if you look at the bottom of the uh, little tag here, you'll notice something Normally it'll it'll be on this little tag, maybe it'll be on the container or whatever, but just look around. This tag says determinate. That's very, very important. If we look on this tag, we notice that it says indeterminate. Now, I'll take some close-up pictures so that you'll be able to see the difference, but indeterminate tomatoes actually grow a lot different than determinate. So what does it actually mean? So determinate tomatoes have a determined lifespan. So think of it like this. Um, let's say that this tomato plant on here, it will grow for, let's see, maturity 65 days. And then say, I don't know, four weeks later after it starts dumping out a ton of tomatoes for you, it'll die. That's right, it'll just straight up die. This indeterminate tomato, um, uh, plant this indeterminate what indeterminate means is that it will grow indefinitely like it doesn't have a death date so kind of think of determinate is it has a death date I know it's kind of morbid but that's what it is it, it has a specific amount of time that it'll grow it'll dump out just a ton of fruit for you and then it will die the indeterminate will continue to grow indefinitely a lot of experienced gardeners will prefer the indeterminate type tomato. And that's simply because if you know what you're doing or you've been around the gardening game for a while, you know that you can actually take indeterminate tomatoes and create a mother plant. That's right. So a mother plant you can actually clone into small little additional baby plants that'll grow into its own additional plant. Now, determinant tomatoes, the exact opposite. You can't use a determinant tomato plant for a mother plant. It'll just straight up die on you. Okay, so that is the difference between an indeterminate and a determinant. Okay, tip number two. Okay, so tip number two is all about soil. Once you decide on your tomato plant, what type of soil are you gonna plant it in? Tomatoes like a good quality soil, as do all plants, because the type of soil you have will ultimately impact the type of fruit you'll have. The healthier the soil, the healthier the plant, and the healthier the plant, the healthier the fruit, and the more fruit it's gonna push out for you. 
Okay, so the type of soil that I recommend is a blended soil type that composes of a good quality organic compost, a good quality garden soil, and a little bit mix of either peat moss or coconut core. Now, you, if you can find coconut core at your local uh, uh, garden center, that's perfectly fine, that's perfect. Sometimes I can't find it and I've gotta to go to Amazon or eBay to order a big compressed block of the stuff and they ship it all wrapped up and it kind of makes me wonder like, what are you guys actually sending me, okay? <laughs> So you can actually mix in, say, 40% compost, 40% garden soil, and 20% of the peat moss or coconut core. Mix it all in there and that will be perfect. Okay, tip number three. Tip number three is all about fertilizer. Now there's two different types of fertilizer. You have your granular fertilizer, as you see here and here. And then you also have your liquid fertilizer. Now, if you see my past videos, you know I'm a huge fan of this Dr. Earth 333. When growing your tomatoes, it's important to have a good combination of granular and liquid. So what I recommend is right before you take your tomato plant out and stick it into your container, always mix like just a handful of the granular fertilizer into the soil, mix it around because that granular is gonna break down a lot slower than the liquid fertilizer. The plant will immediately uptake the liquid versus the granular that's gonna break down over time. <laughs> the way I like to use the liquid fertilizer, this Dr. Earth in particular, is take about an ounce of this fertilizer, mix it into a gallon of water, and water my tomato plants with that gallon once a week. So I'll normally feed my tomato plants once a week with the liquid fertilizer. Okay, tip number four. Okay, so tip number four is all about where do I plant my tomato? Well, if it's an indeterminate variety like this husky cherry red tomato plant you see here, this is really best planted in the ground. The reason why is indeterminate varieties, like I said, doesn't have a death date. So they'll just continue growing and growing and growing. Sometimes they can even grow into a massive bush and their root system is massive. So they're gonna need a lot of room for the roots to really spread out. And a container is not gonna be ideal for an indeterminate tomato. Now, a determinate tomato, on the other hand, would be ideal for a container. Now, not necessarily this size, because this size is only about two gallons. Now, this determinate variety of tomato will grow into a nice sized bush, and the root system will spread out, but not as big as this indeterminate variety. So I recommend a container size for the determinate variety of five to 10 gallons, and you'll be all set. Okay, so the last and final tip, tip number five. Okay, so before we get to tip number five, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button and give this video a like. Okay guys, so the final tip is one of the most important tips, and that is watering. Watering is extremely important. The last thing you want is your tomatoes to dry out. After all, the tomato has a ton of water. If your tomato plant dries out, you take a risk of something called blossom end rot. What blossom end rot is, if you look on the bottom of your tomato, it will have a dark brown or black section where the tomato essentially starts rotting because of the inconsistent watering. It can't uptake the nutrients from your fertilizer. Ultimately, you're signing its death certificate. Now, whatever watering schedule you choose, make sure you stick with it. If you choose to water on Tuesdays and Fridays, make sure you water Tuesdays and Fridays. If you choose to water three times a week, four times a week, or maybe just a little bit of water every single morning, make sure you stick to it. Once your tomato plant gets accustomed to a watering schedule, if you veer off of that schedule and you let it dry out and become inconsistent, it could jeopardize the health of your plant. 
Okay guys, so there you have it. That is five tips to ensure your growing success of your tomato plant. If you follow these five tips, you will not fail. Your plant is gonna be happy, it's gonna be healthy, it's gonna produce a ton of fruit for you. Okay guys, so if you have any tips or tricks that you use, don't forget to comment down below and share with the community. After all, sharing is caring. All right, I love you guys and until next time, peace. What's up guys? Okay, so first of all, I wanna thank you for sticking to the end of the video. So this is the part where I give you an advanced top secret tip and trick to get the most out of your tomato plants. Okay, so let's cut to the chase and get right into it. So once you've got your little tomato plant right before you plant it into the soil or whatever container you're gonna use, what I want you to do is I want you to take off these little leaves down here at the bottom. I also want you to take this one off, this one off, and this one off. You want to count up to about the first Y or the first really evident Y on your tomato plant. The reason is, if you notice all along this stem right here, you see these little hairs. They're very tiny. Well, the interesting thing is about tomato plants is those little hairs, if you bury that all the way up to this first Y up here, all these little hairs will actually turn into roots and the root system will explode. So you may be asking yourself, well, what does that mean? Well, when the plant has a very large root system, that means that the plant can uptake nutrients and vitamins a lot better, resulting in a healthier, stronger plant which results in a lot of nutrient dense fruit for you and your family. So that's the top secret tip and trick you can use to dominate. Okay guys, so I may have lied to you. I don't have just one extra bonus tip and trick, but I've got two. Okay guys, so the extra, extra top secret bonus tip and trick is this. Remember how I was talking about the tomatoes getting blossom end rot? Yeah, blossom end rot is fairly common, especially if you don't have the right type of fertilizer. That's why I like using this fertilizer behind me, this granular fertilizer. The key to preventing blossom end rot is calcium and magnesium. So when you go look for a granular fertilizer, look on the back of the ingredients and make sure it contains calcium and magnesium. Magnesium is good for the overall plant health, but calcium, calcium is the key to preventing blossom end rot. Now, if you get a granular fertilizer like the ones I have listed back here, that's a great start. But what I like to do to add that little extra oomph to the fertilizer is get a bottle of antacid Tums or Rolades. You know, the little chalky tabs? That actually has magnesium and calcium. It is super cheap, and you don't have to go spend a whole bunch of money on these plant-specific nutrients. So, just go to the dollar store, pick you up some Rolades or Tums, crush Bruh. them up, and then throw them into the ground right before you plant with your granular fertilizer. You can also ground them up, throw them in a water bottle, shake it, and do a liquid fertilizer treatment for your tomatoes. It's so versatile and it works. So there you go. Texas Backyard Gardener over delivering on the tips and tricks.